What up, everybody? This is T.Y. back with another video. And uh, today I wanted to talk about um, an upcoming fight that is coming up between uh, Shakur Stevenson and uh, Jamel Herring. Um, definitely it's going to be a good fight. To me, honestly, it's a 50 50 fight. Uh, you have, uh, it's going to be tough. I mean, you got Shakur Stevenson. He's uh, 16 and 0. And then you have Jamel Herring. That is, let me see. I think he is, let me see. He is 23 and 2. So, but Jamel Herring, he's a veteran. Um, he's been around for a while, um, very experienced. And uh, Shakur is, you know, the up and coming fighter. You know, he was a Olympic silver medalist. Um, so it's gonna be, it's definitely gonna be a big step up fight for Shakur Stevenson. I mean, this is a huge fight for him, um, and a huge step up fight for him. This this kind of shows every, you know, shows the world, you know, where exactly is Shakur at, you know. Um, in the, in the course of his career, you know, this is, this is going to show us all, you know, if he, if he really is the, the goods or not saying he's not going to be the goods if he loses this fight, but just saying this is a, this is a big test for him. Whereas Jamel Herring, you know, he's, he's been here before. Um, he's, he's got, he's got experience. He's a veteran. Um, and, uh, he's, you know, he's, a uh, he beat, a. Call Frampton, stopped him in his last, I think that was his last fight. So, um, and he looked good. He looked really good. And he's, he's, uh, what, he's like 5'10", and I think Shakur is like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, and so, it, he, you know, he's, he's the same. He's not no slouch. Jamel Herring's not no slouch. And, uh, you know, him being trained with, uh, with, uh, Bo Mack, uh, Terrence Crawford's trainer. So, um. It's going to be a good fight. And then also these two know each other, you know. Um, I believe that Shakur Stevenson had been a part of the Terrence Crawford's camp. So I'm sure that they've probably looked at uh, Shakur. Jamel Herring's team has probably looked at him and everything. So it's going to be a, a very interesting fight, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. The fight's uh, next, the next Saturday, I believe. It's next Saturday on ESPN. So, um I'm I'm very excited. I'm very uh, interested in this fight. Um, it's a very big test for Shakur, and then for Jamel. You know he's he's been here before. You know, um, so it's it's going to be very interesting uh, to see how this fight plays out. You know, with Jamel having the height advantage, but Shakur's got you know he's got skills. You know what I'm saying? He has he really does have skills, and um, so it's going to be interesting to see. Um, so I'm, I'm very intrigued on this fight. Um, can't wait for this fight to happen. Uh, you guys, uh, make sure y'all like the video. Also subscribe, uh, to the channel and then also, um, follow me on, uh, at Southpaw Boxing 77 on Instagram. So, uh, but yeah, I, I really am uh, excited about this fight. Uh, next Saturday, it's going to be coming next Saturday. So it's going to be interesting, man, to see whether Shakur can can beat Jamel Herring. And if he does, then that that's going to be a that's going to be that's going to be huge for Shakur, man. You know what? You know, if he does beat Jamel Herring, you know, you know, what what is his next options? You know, he's got there's I think there's yeah, there's Oscar Oscar Valdez out there. Um, 
that would be an inter- interesting fight to see, you know, how he, he goes up against uh, Oscar Valdez. Uh, you know, does he, you know, does he take that fight or, you know, would it, you know, it would just be interesting to see if, if he beats Jamel Herring, you know, what his next steps will be and where does he go from there. And then the same thing with uh, Jamel Herring, if he beats Shakur Stevenson, you know, it's the same thing. Like, he could fight Os- Oscar Valdez and, uh, and take that fight. I know that's, that would be a huge fight. Then that would be a big payday for him as well. And so it would be uh, interesting to see, you know, if either one wins, you know, who, where do they go from there? You know, where, what do they do? You know, do they, they fight Oscar Valdez? Do they, what do they decide to do? You know? Um, so it's, it's going to be very, very uh, interesting to see. Um, you got the veteran and then you have the, the, the young up and coming fighter, you know, that's, you know, just trying to make his way up, you know, so it's going to be interesting, man. And then uh, a lot of people had uh, complaints about Shakur Stevenson's last fight, and uh, they said it was lackluster and things. Shakur had apologized about it. I didn't think he had to apologize for anything. I mean, he just had, he did what he had to do. But, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, as far as the prediction goes, oh, man, whew. Uh, I I don't know, man. This is this is tough. I I, I man, I I don't know who's gonna win this fight, man. This to me is fifty fifty. It could go either way. Um, we really get to see, you know, how Shakur fares up up in uh in upper competition. You know, you know how, how does he, you know, how does he, you know, take you know a punch. You know what I'm saying? You know, you rarely see him get hit. Shakur get hit, so. You know, if he does get hit, how does he, you know, how does he respond? You know, you know, what, you know, what happens if, you know, Shakur goes in there and dominates Jamel Herring? You know, like there's just so many layers to this. Um, it's so much. So it's just it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out uh, between this, 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 between this fight here. Um, so I'm I'm very interested in this fight. Um, I just hope that this is going to be a good fight. And I, I think it will be. Um, I think they're going to probably fill each other out in the first few rounds, you know, and, uh, you know, get a feel for each other. And then I think the action will pick up in the middle rounds. And I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I really don't know. You, you, this is, this is why boxing is, uh, one of those sports where you, you just never know, you know, anything can happen on, on any given night. So you just never know. Somebody could get stopped. Somebody could get knocked out. It you just it could be one sided, it could be close, it could be controversial. You just never know in the sport of boxing. And that's why I enjoy boxing because you get all these different types of layers. You just never know. You what you may think may happen, it may not happen that way. So it's gonna be exciting. Uh, it's gonna be intriguing. Um Um I'm I, I'm ready for it. Next again, it's gonna be next Saturday. But uh that's gonna be my that's my take on that. Again, make sure you like, make sure you comment also, and subscribe to the channel again. Co- subscribe to the channel. And also, again, uh, my Instagram is uh, Southpaw Boxing. So it's Southpaw and then Boxing all put together and then 77. So make sure y'all go follow as well. I'll be posting almost almost every day. Or at least I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to post every day. And uh, yeah, just comment. Like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, this is TY again, back with another video. Peace.